Hello everybody and welcome back to Solaris. We are currently at war with the Coalition of Panixala Prima and we are trying to liberate them by conquering them and then reestablishing a new autonomous government as you know part of the Republic. Um, the war is going all right. Uh, we have to be careful though because we have the Mifel Order backing them up. The Coalition itself is no threat to us at all. Uh, but the Mifel Order is a bit more of a threat. So we have a fleet currently positioned in Sismak that's here just to take care of the Mithfell Order. Um, make sure that they don't try to push in through the north. Um, I think we had debt collectors coming in 23... something. Let's see. Uh, debt collectors 2312, December. Okay, so we're moving our MSI warship into Fevnor to deal with the debt collectors. And then after that, I think we can move our warship here to support um, the main front of the war over here. Um, other than that, I mean, we just need to keep on going. Looks like we can upgrade Forfion, our mining world. Um, looks like we need more jobs on Corim. I think we might as well just build... We've got all the industrial districts we want, right? Corim is... First and foremost, a forge world, and it's doing exactly that. It's producing a bunch of alloys for us. Um, so I think we just need, say, like a resource silos. That'll give us a job. And then we'll just leave this planet be. This planet can just do its thing. All right. Fantastic. Um, all of our other planets are looking good, and we'll just deal with those as they come up. So let's see how this um, this battle turns out. Looks like they didn't even stand a chance. Research complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to move and hopefully take the station yeah and it looks like we're oh we have a new physics research to take we can get code breaking plus two or we can get plasma or we can get planetary ftl and starbase ftl inhibitors let's get these ftl inhibitors um I don't know, I've, I don't really see the AI cloaking much, but then again, I've never really played too far into the game. We're kind of getting about to the point of the game where I stop most of my playthroughs. Um, so maybe AI does use cloaking a little bit more? We're going to see. Hopefully that'll help us prevent it, if that's the case. Um, so let's go ahead and let's enter this orbit of this um, star, star base. Fleet engaged. So hopefully we can repair our fleet. Um, we can need to reinforce our fleet as well. So let's enter the orbit of the starbase and let's give it a repair order. Looks like the inhabitants of Zatar 2 have enhanced their agricultural skills through experimentation with nutrient-rich fertilizers. Their harvests are yielding higher quality produce and their health of their society is improving. Given the rudimentary technology, this advancement in food production is remarkable. Obtaining a sample of their fertilizer should allow us to replicate the achievement on a wider scale. We will continue to monitor their efforts from a safe distance. We don't believe in intervening. All right. Um, so once we have fully repaired this fleet, we're going to start Most bombarding Panixala. Why would they take their science ship into the system? That poor science ship. You know, I can only feel so bad. I can only feel so bad. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh my gosh, will they leave our fleet B? We just need to repair. Looks like we can get a new tradition, governing ethics attraction in minus crime, or less empire size from Pops. Let's get the governing ethics attraction in less crime. All right, now will you let us repair, please? Sometimes a guy just needs to repair. Implicated in a plot against the United Mythfell 
Concordat. We don't care about the United Mistral Concordat. They're rebelling against our new allies. And are they going to be able to handle this civil war? I hope they will. They've got about a 3,000 power Starfleet. Ha. Huh. That's so that's so cute. 3,000. Hopefully they'll be able to take him, take him on. I think in the long term, they just need to build up a bit of a fleet first. All right. Our fleet is fully repaired. So let's start bombarding Panaxala Prima. And... Where are our transport fleets? The Enigmatic Cache departs. Whatever the Enigmatic Cache's purpose here on Joy Tendir may have been, it has come to an end. As abruptly as it arrived, the Enigmatic Cache is now leaving. Well, that's a relief. We don't really know what it was doing, and hopefully it was good, but we can't can't assume. So let's move our transport fleets into Panexala. Mm -hmm and get ready to invade this planet. What is their Most defense army looking invade. like? 426. Yeah, we're going to want to whittle this down a lot before we invade because we don't want to take too heavy casualties. That's okay. We need to give our time for our transport fleets to come over anyways. So here's what I'm thinking. Once we take these two planets, then we declare war on the commonality of myth myth fathrios um the goal is to conquer a bunch of systems and basically just carve out a new system out of these and then establish that as like a vassal state that can freely expand on its own hostile fleet engaged so we need to win two wars here Looks like we can upgrade this fleet. Might as well. Sure. Upgrade at Yamath there. The Mythfell Order isn't anywhere near. Spaceborne life form encountered. You know what we could probably also do to make Sismac more defensible? We can probably build some hangar defense platforms and I want to see what I put on the artillery defense platforms I've already forgotten okay um, large weapons um, maybe two I don't know how much large weapons are gonna be useful for us I think the enemy is fielding mostly Corvettes so those hangar platforms are gonna be better We'll just get a whole bunch. We have all the alloys to do it. Alright, once our transport fleet gets here, I think we will go ahead and launch our invasion. How is our bombardment going? Yeah, we've whittled them down to 270. How many armies is it? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'd like to invade them when they have four. I don't think I want to invade them when they have five or six because we'll take unnecessary number of casualties. Four defense armies is about handleable. Handleable? Is that a word? Who knows? Okay. Bye, Enigmatic Cash. Hostile fleet engaged. All right. Do we have our transport fleets ready to merge? Nope. Let's bring both of our transport fleets into Panixala. <laughs> We can move this fleet back into Sismac. Hostile fleet engaged. <laughs> All right. We're doing fantastic here. Deck collectors. It's January. They're coming in December. Hostile fleet engaged. And then we'll be able to move this um, MSI warship to be an auxiliary kind of help over here. Mythfell Order is moving a fleet down here. We got to keep an eye on that. Looks like we can merge these two fleets and we can probably land our armies. Yep, 
Yeah, what does their defense look like? Oh yeah, they have no defenses left over. Planetary invasion begun. Meanwhile, let's move this fleet over to this planet and let's start bombarding horticultured. Enemy planet oh yeah, they have a lot of defenses on this planet as well. We have our work cut out for us. Our planets are still looking good. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, poor transport fleets. It's getting destroyed. The AI loves to spam building those those transport fleets. Um and it's really not a wise use of their resources, if you ask me. We can get stability and planetary ascension cost. Planetary ascension. Now that's something we haven't been doing a whole lot of. Um, looks like we need some more jobs, so let's start upgrading some buildings, like our Autikthen Monuments. We could probably upgrade that on all of our worlds. Yeah, let's actually- I can leave this running. I just need to turn the speed down. This is going to provide jobs on all of our worlds, and um, it looks like it's not creating any extra... This upgrade doesn't create any extra like strategic resource upkeep, so it's pretty good for us. Oh, here are the debt collectors. We're not paying. Bring it on. Spaceport under attack. You've never been able to hurt us. What's new today? Nothing's new today. We can breach the shroud. Let's do it. The void shimmers with power. Let us rest a while. Increased evasion with medium probability success or increased sensor range. Let's do the medium probability success. Slowly at first, then faster and faster. Our grasp on the shroud begins to slip. Our telepaths cry out in anguish as they lose their foothold and we are ejected back into normal space. Oh, oh well. I guess we failed. So let's move our transport fleet to orbit around Horticulture and let's see how are their defense armies doing here. We still have some work to do with bombardment. I see Mythfell fleet in the Payak system? Paya system, yep. Looks like they're just sitting there. They're not moving forward and they're not moving backwards. Um, we can upgrade our governor. This person is governing Favaria. We can probably give pop upkeep minus 5% and trade value plus 5%. That's going to be good for Favaria. You know what I'm just seeing? We're only making 24 energy credits right now. Which is concerning. We need more, um, we need more energy districts. Especially on tech worlds. That we're not really using for anything else. I think on our tech worlds we're just going to build extra agriculture and generator districts. Nothing to build there. This is a factory world. Forfion is a relic world. We already we don't have jobs to spare there. Desadia? We can probably replace this no, we can't replace this industrial district with an energy district. Hmm. New Favaria? Sure, let's build another generator district there. We just want to stay ahead of this and not let it become a problem. Um, we can probably bump up the speed to fast again. Let our bombardment Spaceborne do its damage. Armies. 330. We'll see how low we can drop that. Um, I said we can move our MSI recovered asset. We're done with the debt collectors. So let's move into Celtaris. And I think we're going to push forward a little bit. Okay, so for this next war... What we need to make sure we claim is we need to claim their planet systems. So that is this and this. That's going to cost us 500. Other priorities for claiming systems is we want to claim like border systems. 
So we're gonna, when we destroy these empires, all of their other systems that we haven't claimed are just going to disappear. They're gonna become unclaimed systems. And of course we can claim them back with a little bit of influence. It's gonna be cheaper to just like build new star stations with our influence than it is to claim them right now. So we just wanna really be careful with what we're claiming. And I think I'd like to probably claim these two systems as well, maybe. Um, but for, for a start, I think we claim this and we claim this one. So we have at least this border right here. Okay. Um, and of course, we can make some more claims later down the road as well. Looks like there's new things we can vote on in the galactic community. Um, Tianqi Pest Control. Any empire with Tianqi inside their borders are in breach of galactic law? No. Repeal Pan Galactic Recycling Initiatives? Yes. Not that we don't believe in recycling, but it's none of the galactic community's business to tell us what we can and can't do. We want to recycle on our own terms. How many defense armies do they still have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Research complete. Okay, I think we'll go on when they have four or five. Advanced strike craft? Fantastic. We can get swarmer missiles. This is exactly what I wanted to get. Um... Or we can get ally me mega forges. Let's get swarmer missiles. That's gonna be good. We can get level two disruptors. I think we will. Okay, where is our? Uh, here's our MSI warship. I think we actually need to repair the MSI warship for a bit before moving on. So let's actually enter this orbit and give it some, give Council it a chance to repair ready. a bit. Council agenda ready. This is going to give us plus twenty stability. Fantastic. Next, we can probably get. Honestly, resources resources from psionic pops is huge. I think we just keep getting this as, as often as we can. Alright. How's this planet doing? Oh yeah, it's got three defense armies. We're ready to go. Let's land these armies. In the meantime, we can start pushing forward. I think we go ahead and we declare war. We have declared war. Okay, so now we have two ongoing wars. The third war, by the way, we're not... Oh, hey, looks like our, our new allies are making some progress. We're not getting involved here. They can handle their own civil war. I think they've got this. Um, all right. Fantastic. So, let's move forward. We're just going to conquer a bunch of these systems like that. We'll save our MSI warship to conquer these systems. Planetary invasion begun. We'll save our MSI warship, sorry. Enemy planet secure. To conquer the systems that don't have any star base protecting them. Research okay, it looks complete. like it's repairing. Research complete. We've got ancient macro batteries. We can get psionic army, that would be pretty good. But let's get claim influence costs and war exhaustion gain, right? This is going to be very relevant for us. Looks like we're full up on consumer goods. Might as well just buy some energy credits with that. Our factory world has not enough housing. All right. We can fix that. We'll build a city district. We can probably build another factory district as well. Hostile station engaged. All right, our MSI warship is fully recovered. So let's move into this system and then let's move into Paya after that.
Hostile station engaged. How are we doing with our Mythfell, not our Mythfell, our Panic Cell of War? If I want to set old status quo, which is all we really need to do to conquer all these systems, they still have minus 33% acceptance. The Bernathi display psionic potential. The Bernathi and interplanetary mandate. All right. Hostile Welcome to the club. Engaged. This MSI warship is great for conquering these these star stations because it sits at such a great range. It doesn't take any anything in um, anything back, any damage back, I should say. All right, fantastic. Looks like the Mythville Order has been fairly quiet. I don't really know where their fleets are and what they're planning to do with them. Hostile station engaged. I hope. I hope they're just gonna stay that way. All right, so this fleet, I think we're going to just continue pushing on this way. Um, and I see we need to claim this system for 270. Hostile station engaged. We already have a claim there. There's an abandoned Situation gateway to the updated. L cluster in this system. Yes, we know. Um, okay, pop demotions time minus 75%. Empire size from pops minus 15%. That's going to be good for us because I think our population is pretty dang high now. Yeah, 358. All right, let's move our armies forward. We have a planet and fear Mathrios. Hostile take. station engaged. We can upgrade our commander. We can give, let's see, carrier focus, give strike craft damage. Um, Shipbreaker gives us alloys for every en enemy empire ship destroyed, or we can give sublight speed. Plus 15%. Let's get the extra speed. Speed is so good in this game. Research complete. All right, we've got swarmer missiles. Now what's next? We can get duro steel armor. Yeah, I think level four armor. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, our MSI warship is doing its part, slowly taking these systems. Let's go ahead and let's see, we were claiming these two systems as well. So let's go ahead and conquer those two systems. Now that we conquered Paya, how is our War score acceptance, minus 25. Station engaged. They have 61 war exhaustion, so hopefully that'll tick up in our favor and make it easier for us to get the peace we need. If we can afford the influence, we might claim these systems as well. We'll see. All right, we can give our head of research an extra trait. We can give archeology span skill. We don't need that. Okay, we can give particles expertise expertise new worlds or we can just give a flat plus two percent research speed and one research alternative the alternative is going to be pretty good i'm taking that all right here we are what is their defense Hostile on this planet engaged. i don't even think we need to do any Hostile bombardment there. Engaged. an alp bus Okay, we haven't had a new contact in a while. Let's go ahead and assign an emissary to that. Okay, things are going well. I feel like this fleet is just kind of being wasted here, but I don't want to push into Mythfell territory and take any unnecessary casualties that we don't need because that's just going to make ourselves weak and expend resources unnecessarily. Complete. I'd rather just sit defensively there. All right, 
reduced cost for claims. That would have been good if we had that, you know, a few years earlier. And war exhaustion gain minus 10%. That's pretty good. Uh, terraforming, we don't need. Mm -hmm. I say we start getting some blockers out of the way so we can get the most out of all of our planets. Space-born life form encountered. Okay, so let's send our transport fleets to take this planet. Again, only 200, 1, 2, 3, 4 defense armies. I think we can handle that. Hostile station engaged. All right. The raiders want tribute. The Auburn wildlings. Wow, this is so little. Yeah, have 500 food. That's nothing to us. That's insane. Can we pay them again to raid? Mythfell order? Their fleet's not ready. They don't want to do it for us. Leader level up. This is commanding our MSI warship. We can get plus 15% ship's weapon damage. We can give extra sublight speed. Yeah, let's give the plus ship weapons damage. Hostile station engaged. All right, fantastic. Looks like we have all the claims we need. Structured signals. Hostile station engaged. Our recovered asset? Uh oh. Running into some trouble. Can we potentially retreat our recovered asset? We're not going to be able to take this all on. Let's retreat to this system. Hostile fleet engaged. Ninety two days to retreat. Planetary uh -oh. invasion begun. Guys, we might have lost our recovered asset. Enemy planet secured. That's actually, no, before we do this, we need to move this fleet back and deal with this, this incursion into our territory. I don't want to lose our recovered asset. Okay, no, what missing in action, thank God. Um, okay, so here they come. They're on, they're fighting back. Research complete. I can respect that. The Mem Menace is the artisan A troop. Empire has established Hi, artisan troop. How are you doing? We don't need to deal with you right now. We have more important things to deal with. Um, auto curating vaults. Turn consumer goods into unity and amenities. We can get diplomatic weight plus 10%. We can just get more blockers out of the way. Okay, looks like we can clear blockers on Corium. Okay, how long is this going to be out of commission for? 500 days, roughly. That's a long time. We can breach the shroud again. Let's try it. We have found a tiny space within the shroud that a concentration of psionic energy that is a magnitude we have not before seen. Any psy psychic that managed to successfully tap into this pocket of raw energy would become immensely powerful. But there is only enough for a single individual and there are risks involved. All right, we can take our president. Let's look at our leaders. We can take our president. We can take our commander. We don't want low probability success. We want high probability success. Or we can take our Lord High Admiral, who's commanding one of our star fleets. Um. Why don't we put our, our president in, right? 
see what happens. The entire shroud seems to shudder as the immense psych psionic energies contained within that pocket are transferred to Kalbathan. Although the transfer is successful, Kalbathan has been transformed into some kind of being of pure energy. What? What have you done to me? You will all pay. What did we do? We just killed our president? And now he wants revenge. A creature of the shroud has pierced the fabric of space and materialized in the Darep system. This vengeful avatar has amassed a tremendous amount of psionic energy and is using it to lash out at anything and anyone unfortunate enough to get in its path. Oh no. Oh no. This is our president. Space born life form encountered. Oh boy. Democratic ruler election. Um, okay. So here's the deal. We need to deal with this. We're going to take our fleet down here. And hopefully we're going to be able to get it back in time. I really hope we're going to be able to get it back in time. If the Mythfell Order comes into Sysmok while we're away, this could prove very disastrous for us. Spaceport under attack. Okay, looks like that fleet actually went away. Research complete. Down here, so I'm actually going to move our fleet back here so we can take their planet. Spaceport under attack. We have level 2 disruptors now. We can probably go for extra energy from technicians. We always want to keep an eye on energy. At least he's just sitting here. He's not really doing anything in the Durab system. Blocker cleared. The crew clearing the sinkhole at Korim has made a breathtaking discovery. Buried deep within the chasm, under multiple layers of liquids and tightly packed sediment, is a colossal alien space station. What? Architecturally stunning and built with technology superior to our own, it is a true work of art. The station appears to have crashed to the surface, surviving impact thanks to unusual shielding capacities, which our scientists are now eager to examine. Regrettably, an archaeological excavation would present us from working the land until completion. Alright, we have to check this out. We will excavate the site. I am so excited to find out what that is. Alright. Governing to Sadia. We can give... Yeah, let's just give Reformer. Um, okay. So we're dealing with our psionic, our psionified former president, Corrupted Avatar. We are dealing with this, and hopefully the Mythfell Order Spaceborne does not come into Sysmok, because if they do, I don't think we can defend it. Edict's Fun plus 50. We get a new Ascension perk. Alright, let's see what all of these give us. Shared Destiny. Nah, that's boring. Transcendent Learning. Improves our Leader Experience Gain. Boring. Edix Fun plus 100. Useful, but boring. Empire Size from Planets. Minus 50%. That's not bad, considering the number of planets we have. Okay, consider this one. Mastery of Nature would give us max districts plus two on all of our planets. Okay, that's not bad. Galactic Contender gives us more diplomatic weight and damage to fallen empires and gate builders and whatever. This will let us basically fight toe to toe with the fallen empires if we wanted to. We can take Eternal Vigilance, which increases our star-based damage, hull points, and defense platforms. This would make us a lot more resilient. Defender of the Galaxy. Um, this gives us damage to the end game crisis, I think. That's what all these are. Pretherin, creatures, unbidden, aberrant. These, these words seem familiar to me. I think those are end game crises. Galactic Force Projection gives us naval capacity plus 100 and command limit plus 50. I think I'm going for that. 
I don't want to become the crisis. I want galactic force projection. Okay. It's going to make our fleets a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Okay. When are we getting our MSI warship back? Still 250 days. Entropy's promise embraces cybernetics. Interesting. The galaxy is now home to cyborgs. System is partially occupied. Oh, looks like there's another planet here. Future. What's the defense on future? Zero. Let's go ahead and let's conquer future. And after that, we're going to move into the Stevens system. We can activate our relics. I don't think we need to activate our relics. We're done terraforming all of these planets. Speaking of, at Forfion, can we finally build this faculty of Archaeo studies? We can. And I think we not only can, but should. All right, Fear of Mathrios is now fully conquered, so let's move our defense armies, our armies into the system. Or at least get them moving there. Okay. What is the defense armies on here? We should do some bombarding before they arrive. So let's take our fleet and let's give the order to bombard. Blocker cleared. All right. Our agri world needs some jobs. Sure. Let's get some more energy districts. Might as well. We haven't built the side core on this planet engaged. either. Fleet engaged. Oh, we're fighting the Avatar. Are we going to be enough to defeat it? I think we did it. That was it? That was underwhelming. That was very underwhelming. Okay. Let's move back to Sismak. Actually, I think it might be worth having our MSI recovered asset defending Sismak. And actually, we should move this fleet to the front. I think it's going to be more useful to have this fleet on the front. Yeah, it's decided. Planetary invasion begun. Station under attack. Okay. Station is under attack. Which station? Which station? Enemy planet secured. Oh, I think it's this station. So the science ship and the the fleet. Spaceport under attack. Research complete. I'm so paranoid. Research complete. All right. We can get genetic modification points. I really like the sound of that. All right. We can start genetically modifying our species. Ethics of that are questionable, but... Let's give this the order to repair here, actually. New contact. We have contacted an empire that calls themselves the Chosen. Hostile station engaged. Fanatic purifiers. Uh oh. Quake in fear, alien scum, for your doom approaches. The Chosen will cleanse the galaxy of every misbegotten Xeno civilization that pollutes it with their presence. Favaria shall burn. You will find yourselves no match for us. Uh oh, I hope we're far away from those guys. Okay. 
It's an interesting empire name, the Chosen. Chosen by who? Spaceport under attack. Okay, our Riven Starfleet can now move in. So I think we're going to give it the orders to start occupying all of these systems. Hostile station engaged. Open council position. We need a new master crafter. Looks like we need to hire on a new official. We can probably hire on that official. Let's see. Crime reduction. This will give leader experience gain. Let's get the crime reduction. Okay, and this person we can assign to govern Favaria. There we go. We have more idle leaders. We have a commander that's not doing anything. It's not on the MSI. We already have three commanders, don't we? What about our transport fleet? Huh, interesting. This commander, I guess we just get rid of him. We don't need this commander anymore. Dismiss. Hostile fleet engaged. See what other claims we can make. We've claimed this. We've claimed this. This is unclaimed. It'd be good to claim one of these systems. Or even claim this system as this is a choke point. And just concede this to this empire over here. Incoming transmission. Yeah, I think we're gonna try to claim Xeris. Establish an embassy? Sure. We're not above establishing an embassy with you. Okay, hopefully they can't take us. We have about 40k here. Zosira Toon has adopted an alien creature to accompany her robot assistant Gorky. It is a colorful mollusk who, through, though presapient, exhibits an impressive intellect and responds to whistle command. Uh, taking responsibility for the creature appears to have affected her personality, making her more responsible and balanced. Wow, she's going to live 10 more years and she has less capacity for negative traits. Spaceborn life form encountered. Fantastic. Okay, how are we doing with our Panixala War of Conquest? Still can't sue for white peace. How about the Valdari Fear Mathros annexation? Still can't sue for white peace. I'd like to take the Zera system. We need 15 more influence. We'll get there. Governing ethics shift. Hostile station engaged. Our factory world has unemployment and lack of housing. Sounds like we need some more factories on our factory world. Yeah, like a lot more. We are going to make this and we're going to make this a mining world. The reason being um, is that that's going to give us a bonus to mining crystals, mining gas extraction, and moat harvesting traps, which we can do all on this planet. Spaceport under attack. What spaceport? I'm so paranoid. 
space-born life form encountered. All right. Durasteel armor, level four armor. We can get battleships. We have to get battleships. We can also get citadels, but come on, guys, battleships. Oh yeah, it's gonna take our fleets to a whole new level. Oh my gosh, where did all these fleets come from? I have to say, Coalition, I'm impressed. Let's take Supremacy as our next option. This is going to make our military more effective. Increase our naval capacity and our army damage. It's going to also increase, hopefully... Yeah, okay. It's going to be good for us. But for the time being, retreat, retreat, retreat. Hostile station. This is engaged. not good. I did not realize they had such um, so many defenses built up here. With what resources can they afford all of this fleet? We've literally occupied all of their territory. They don't have any planets left. Okay, retreat. We're gonna retreat and we're gonna need to rendezvous. This is, let's see, missing in action for 700 days. Wow. We're gonna need the combined strength of both of our fleets, I think, to take that one out. Oh, no wonder I didn't see them coming. This is in a, um... This is in a nebula, sorry. Uh, and it's... you can't see into nebulas. Okay, I feel a little bit less bad about walking into that trap, but not a whole lot better. Hostile station engaged. I think we have that going for us here on Sysmac. We are in a nebula, so... The Mythfell Order can't see the defense, the, the defenses that we have in, in that system either. Um, we can get experimental subspace navigation. No, we get shields, plasma throwers, chemical plants. Let's get chemical plants. We want to start manufacturing some of these uh, rare resources on our planet. Council agenda ready. Leader level up. This is governing Favaria. Let's get more crime reduction. We can get bonus to our resources produced by Sonic Pops. And we can probably get... Hmm, work exhaustion gain minus 20%. Now let's just get the bonus specialist pop resource output. That's gonna be good. We're currently able to access the shroud. Seems like this never works out well. For reasons we cannot fathom, we have been drawn into this corner of the shroud. Why? Increased shield strength. Medium probability of success. Curse bestowed. A powerful psychic backlash has bounced back through the conduit of the shroud and into the communal psych psionic link that is shared between all Baldari for some reason. This has a detrimental effect on birth rates throughout the Favarian Republic. Uh-oh, pop growth speed minus 30% for five years. Okay, well, um, I think we're going to end the episode there. This has been a rather long one. I apologize, I lost track of time. I was uh, kind of hoping to win this war during the length of this episode, but I think we'll, we'll be able to win the wars definitely next episode. We're getting very close. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and please stay tuned as we continue to move our attention outwards and uh, subjugate our neighbors and uh, see to the liberation of the galaxy.